at the beginning of our conversation, you yeah. kind of teased us a little bit saying that when you bought your car in store media, kind of influenced your experience in yeah. some way. Would love to hear a bit about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, right from when we when we first, um, you know, were shopping for a vehicle, I, I visited a number of different brands and different um, uh, uh, dealerships. And one of the first one was um, uh, a brand that kind of specialized in more sporty cars. And so they had a huge spectacular, and by spectacular, I mean, very large format uh, digital sign. And this beautiful kind of three-story atrium uh, where they were playing this, you know, sizzle reel, for lack of a better term, of the, you know, the performance car. So, you know, how fast they were, how great they were in the in the snow, even though it's a performance car and so on. I thought, oh, that's really cool. It's really entertaining. It was really, you know, visually quite, um, quite uh, appealing and, and attractive. Uh, and then we kind of switched gears, went into another uh, dealership for a brand that is known more for the reliability, safety, um, their design um, and, and that sort of thing. And what was really cool about that is they actually took that experience and scaled it down. So it actually ended up being um, more of an informative tool where you could actually, this was a touchscreen type of a execution where you kind of scroll through and, you know, beside every vehicle in the showroom, they had a little, you know, kiosk where you could scroll down and see all the options and the pricing. And um, one of the great things about it is that the, the, the sales team at the dealership, who were fantastic, by the way, um, used this as a tool. And they weren't using this as a, a way to get out of, you know, asking or answering any questions, nor were they using it to push anything in particular. They were really like, you know, look at it at your leisure. You know, these are the pain options that you got and so on. And that actually, you know, presented a really cool experience for us. And we ended up buying from from that particular brand. Um, and even when, you know, we walked into the dealership when uh, when we picked the car up, you know, they had screens, you know, showing extended warranty options, but they are, they're also screens like this is what you can do with the vehicle. This is the vehicle, you know, um, uh, going in the snow and carrying your skis and, and all that kind of stuff. So it actually kind of closed the loop a little bit on that purchase for us. Um, and obviously for me coming from that space and, you know, my partner, who's definitely not from this space at all, um, you know, I think for her, it really was like, oh, this is really cool. You know, maybe we should get a bike rack for our bikes. And I'm like, well, I don't even have a bike. You have a bike, but I don't. She's like, well, go buy a bike, you know, and get this bike rack. Um, pure upsell opportunity for, for the retailer in the end, but it was framed as a lifestyle choice or a lifestyle upgrade, almost an aspirational one. Um, and I ended up spending another 800 bucks on a bike rack. <laughs> there you go. 